Hello, good morning to you. Welcome to Business. Government is urging more private sector participation in the agri sector to further drive development of the sector, according to the Vice Chair for Food and Cocoa Affairs for the Select Committee of Parliament, Abraham Juma Odum. Private sector participation is necessary to back government efforts at improving agriculture's contribution to GDP. She spoke at the launch of the 2019 IFH Flamingo Awards in Accra, Sheila Tamaklu reports. The Planting for Food and Jobs, Planting for Export and Rural Development, Distribution of Subsidized Fertilizers, and the Rowing for Food and Jobs programs are among many initiatives by government to improve productivity in the agriculture sector. Vice Chair for Food and Cocoa Affairs for the Select Committee of Parliament, Abraham Juma Odum, noted there's a need for more private sector participation to support government's efforts. The ministry is also looking at uh, getting the private sector involved. You see, ministry alone cannot do it. And like I said, I mean, agric is done by people and it's not done by government. And therefore, I'm very happy, especially with the ministry, uh, the minister's uh, efforts and preoccupation in engaging the private sector and also uh, in the area of uh, mechanizing agriculture. Because at the end of the day, if we are talking about uh, productivity, we can only get high productivity when we are taking a look at technology. The Vice Chair for Food and Cocoa Affairs for the Select Committee of Parliament was speaking at the launch of the 2019 Institute of Financial and Economic Journalist Flamingo Awards under the theme Towards Agribusiness and Sustainable Development. Professor John Gachi is the chair of the awards jury. Our implementation of agricultural policies are very weak, so we need to step up our implementation, commitment to implementation, and uh, incentivize people to uh, engage in agriculture. In fact, other places where agriculture is performing excellently is because the private sector is incentivized and they engage in agriculture as a commercial activity. Most of our people that we go around that they are farmers, they are actually engaging in subsistence farming. That is the job that their grandfathers gave them when they were born. So that is what they are doing. But we, get, we, we need to get to a point where we get a roadmap of incentive to drive the private sector really into agribusiness. Entry for the IFEDGE Flamingo Awards is open for all business and financial journalists from now to the 12th of September 2019. For Joy Business, Sheila Tamakula reporting. Now, some individuals are facing prosecution for violating the Excise Tax Stamp Act, which makes it compulsory for all beverage and exercisable products to be affixed with a tax stamp before sale. Some of these persons who have been arraigned before court, if found guilty, may face a jail term or penalty counts of more than 200 units. Head of the excise tax stamp uh, at the Ghana Revenue Authority, Kwabana Ampao, disclosed this in an interview with Joy Business. In the case of a situation where somebody is caught with a fixed stamp, one, the goods involved are confiscated to the state, and two, those involved could be, you know, uh, upon summary conviction could be convicted for imprisonment to a term not not more than five years you know and the course will be fined up to 300 percent of the duties and taxes involved so these are the penalties that are in, in, involved and as i said those the cases in court those involved if they are caught found you know guilty they could be in prison they could be imprisoned and the court can also say that pay this percentage you know of the duties and taxes as fine you know the goods themselves have already been confiscated to the state and that's all in business for now back to pennies you're still watching news that's coming up shortly we've got more plus sports to stay <laughs>